how would I explain generics? Well, it's, it's parameterization of your types. Imagine for a second, if you will, that you could have arrays, but you couldn't say what they're arrays of. How would that feel? Not particularly useful, right? Because array is a kind of type, but the element type of the array is also another kind of type, but it is a parameter of, a type parameter of array. Because you want arrays of blah, arrays of numbers, arrays of strings, arrays of whatever. Now, a lot of languages, or I mean, simpler languages solve that by having certain built-in kinds of types, which is a poor man's form of generics. But most modern languages support abstraction over this concept and allow you to declare types that take other types as parameters. So you can have arrays of blah, or you can have sets of blah, or you can have maps of key comma value blah, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And that's in a sense, the, that's the power of generics, right? It's because that is how our programs work, you know, and you can never get the types precise enough if you don't support generics. You see languages discovering that over and over again, right? That languages that are born without generics eventually get them if they want to grow up in the world. So, yeah.